So once you've drawn your teapot out, what I'd like you to do is draw in some lines using your pencil. So you're going to have the lines contouring around just to give you a bit of direction when you add your oil pastel. So as you can see, I'm just drawing in some directional lines which follow the shape of my teapot. I'm also going to do the top at the top. So I'm just bringing those lines up and around the shape. So the same on the spout and bring those sort of contour lines just coming round. So I'm just gaining the shape. Do the same on the handle. Just a few directional lines. This can be helpful in just a moment when we start adding the oil pastel. So the next thing you should do is you should have three oil pastels, a darker colour, a middle colour and the lightest colour. So I've got a dark green, a light green and a yellow for my example. And what I'm going to do is I'm first going to add the darkest tones. So I'm going to start over this side. I'm going to press rather hard, okay, because oil pastels, you want to press a little bit harder with them to get that sort of thicker coverage. And you can see I'm just creating the direction going up and around. I'm going to put some darker tones on this bit. So again, I'm following my contour lines. around and put a bit of shadow just around the bottom because I know the light is coming from this direction I'm trying to put a lot of my shadow on this sort of side Just going to put a little bit of shadow. Right here. And just on the inside of that handle where I know there'll be a natural shadow coming round. Okay, so the next colour I'm going to just pick up is I'm going to pick up the middle tone, which is my light green. And I'm going to start putting in my middle tones. Now I know the light is coming over here, so this is where I want to keep the yellow sort of tones. So I'm going to work with my light green. And all I'm going to do is you notice that I'm just pushing the light green over the top of the dark green. And you can see it blends beautifully. So it's got that gradual sort of tonal effect. So I'm just pushing the colour into one another and it's creating that sort of tonal gradient. So again, you'll notice I'm sort of like travelling around the teapot. I'm not going across in a straight line. I'm going around. So following my contour lines, which I initially put in at the start. And I'm putting those middle tones in. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to bring middle tones there. Again. Working over the top. You'll notice I'm not smudging it with my finger. I don't need to because the oil pastels blend in beautifully over the top of one another. Okay, so I could keep going with the light green. So I'm going to show you in a moment where I'm going to just start putting my lighter areas. So I'm just going to put a little bit more light green. Okay, so I can put a bit more here. Again, follow my direction of my contour line. So I'm putting in my middle tones. I'm 
and the next I'm going to pick up my yellow. So this is my lightest tone. So I know the lighter area is going to hit the front and just this side. So again, I'm going to feed my yellow just over the top of the light green. And what you'll see is it starts to blend in. Now oil pastels aren't going to create a completely smooth effect. A little bit... They're a little bit different to chalk. Chalk, um, you can merge together and you can get kind of a seamless sort of like tone going from one tone to another. Oil pastels, they do blend quite nicely together, but you can see a little bit of the line. But that's what gives it a really beautiful effect. So you can see now I'm building up my yellow tones, merging them into my middle tones, my light greens. So I've got that lovely light hitting the front and to the side. And again, notice how I'm curving my oil pastel around and following the shape of my teapot. So I could go back with the light green if I want to, but you'll notice that where the dark green is at the bottom, and I'm just pushing the yellow into it, you'll notice I'm getting those mid tones as well coming through. Okay, so you can see I'm building it up. Again, if I want to go back up to the top of the lid, I can start building those in. Again, I'm following my lines, which I created right at the beginning. I'm pushing that oil pastel into the dark green, which is starting to get those sort of like light green areas there. Okay, 